Hey everyone, welcome back to Shady Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the John Barbados V516 sunglasses. But first off, we have to thank today's video sponsor, ShadyReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadyReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 56 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge, and they have this really cool brow line style to them. And they look very similar to a pair of Ray-Ban Clubmaster uh, squared sunglasses, which I really do like. These definitely also look like the Maui Jim Calicas, which is definitely a compliment. That's one of Maui Jim's absolute best looking frames in my opinion. So I really do like the styling of these frames. The build quality of these frames is also really, really good, especially considering the price point. The sunglasses have an MSRP of $400. However, we're actually selling these on the Shade Review store for only $65. So I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to our website where you can check these sunglasses out for only $65. But even though we're selling these sunglasses for a huge discount off the MSRP, I'm gonna still try to keep this review as unbiased as I possibly can. So first impressions of these sunglasses is they are very well made. They're completely made out of a tortoise estate material here up the top. And then we have a metal a half rim design here on the bottom. These frames are made in Japan. And as you probably know, I really love sunglasses that are made in Japan, especially estate or metal sunglasses. They do a really good job with the build quality and they say made in Japan here in the inner right temple of the frames. Now they also say John Vervedos here in the uh, inner right temple as well. And then we can also see their little metal logo embedded in into the estate, which is a really nice touch. Now, as far as the looks from the front go, these look really good and nice and very classy with their metal accents here. And then again, a little John Vervedis logo, which is very discreet here on the lens. Now, moving down to temples, we can see a much more louder uh, John Vervedis logo here with a little bit tar logo. So that logo is definitely kind of loud and I don't really like it. However, it is built incredibly well. So this entire little John Vervedis logo is made out of metal. And then if we take a look here at the hinge, we can see one of the absolute beefiest hinges that I've ever seen in a pair of sunglasses uh, that connects to the little guitar logo. These sunglasses have five barrel all metal hinges which feel extremely premium when to open up and close them. They just feel very nice and substantial and they definitely don't feel like they're going to break or anything like that. Now if we take a look at the front and sunglasses we can see some absolutely beautiful etching here on the bridge of the frames and then also on the underside of the frames we can see some really beautiful etching. So looking at these frames from the front we can see they look just completely black. However if we take a look here up at the top we can see this absolutely beautiful a dark tortoise material which looks really really nice and is a very very subtle touch but looks really good in my opinion now if we move down to the temple tips we can see they actually have these metal uh, little end caps which look really nice as well with John Rivedo's logos on them which is really cool and definitely not easy to do so it definitely looks classy and nice in my opinion and I really love all the extra details of these frames these also have fully adjustable nose rests so you can completely adjust these to your liking which helps make the sunglasses uh, fit really good on the face. Now the only downside of these frames is the fact that they do have polymer non-polarized lenses. So the optical clarity of these is still very good, of course not nearly as good as glass, but they're also not going to have quite as good scratch resistance as something with glass, so that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. But they also do have this really nice anti-reflective material here on the backside, which as you can see does a really good job of blocking uh, sunlight coming in, bouncing off the lens at an angle, causing discomfort. Now as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames offer okay coverage from sun. So here up top we can see there's a pretty big gap that lets sunlight in and protected and then here on the sides again there is a really big gap that does let sunlight in and protected so definitely not going to offer the best coverage but again having that anti-reflective material on the back side definitely does help reduce some eye strain and as far as looks go I really do love the looks of these frames you're never going to have really good coverage uh, from something with a squared off lens style like these frames so overall I think it's a really good pair of sunglasses it is built very well and honestly uh, considering the fact that we are selling these for $65 directly on our website they are an absolute steal and I'm not just saying that because I am selling them. The build quality here is just really good and again the fact that they are made out of estate and they are made in Japan and have this absolutely beautiful metal work as well uh, just makes them a really high quality pair of sunglasses uh, for the money. Now as far as you know paying full MSRP which is $400 it's definitely very high. These sunglasses in my opinion are more worth you know $180 or $200 so I probably wouldn't pay $400 uh, full price for these frames but again for $65 I think they are a really good steal. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up right below and of course make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.